Sometimes graphs or um, functions are written in what's called vertex form. And what's cool about vertex form is you know exactly where that vertex is based on the way the equation is written. And I want to remind you of what we did with our absolute value functions because you may recognize some of these things as being familiar from when we did absolute values. So if the number inside the parentheses, if there is a number inside the parentheses, then it shifts it either to the left or to the right. And if the, there is a number outside the parentheses, it either shifts it up or down. And remember what we said was that um, when the number is inside the parentheses, it goes in the opposite direction. And there is a math reason behind that. If you're interested in knowing it, I'll be more than happy to tell you um, when you're in class. But essentially what you have is the H represents the X value of the vertex and the K represents the Y value. So if h comma k is the vertex, then you can look for it in the formula and find it. So let's look down at um, the first one. They tell us from the function that 4 comma 0 is going to be in the center of this graph. Because, again, based on the formula, the number inside the parentheses, when you change its sign, that's the first number. And if there's a number outside, that's the y value. And since there's no number outside, it's a 0. So I can set up my table centered around 4, 0, and know exactly um, what other values to use. So I'm just going to plug 4, 0 right into the table, and now I just have to calculate. When I plug in 3, I get 1. When I plug in 2, I get 4. And then the symmetry will tell me this is 1 and this is 4. So let's graph it. I'm actually just going to end up uh, using quadrants 1 and 2 because this parabola never goes into the negatives. So let's graph. They also want me to compare it to x squared, so I'll do a quick little sketch of x squared. And I'll say that it shifts to the right, 4. Why don't you try example 2 on your own? In the next example, we're going to add a constant on, so it will end up shifting up or down in the next example. Remember that the vertex is hk, and this is the vertex setup. So my vertex in this question is actually at the point negative 5, negative 1. So when I set up my table, I'm going to put negative 5, negative 1 in the center, negative 6, negative 7, and I'm going to center my values around that. So pause the video and plug in your values. I want to make sure that I can fit my graph on the axis. So I guess I'll put it here. Last thing to do is to compare. So the graph shifted. Um, it looks like five left and one down from y equals x squared. All right, last one, we're gonna put it all together. We're not just gonna move it horizontal. We're not just gonna move it vertical. We're also gonna do both of those and incorporate a shifting in um, how wide it is. But the setup is still the same. So the vertex, since it's hk from this formula, the vertex is still at negative 2, 3 based on that graph. It's just a question of how wide or narrow it is. Okay, when you're ready, plug in your values and make me a graph. 
All right, take a look. See how you did. The next two examples are completely on your own. Go. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you see me next.